너도 되고 할수 있어. <웃음> 야, 백수. <웃음> Hello, this is all about volleyball. Today's video is about spike swing correction. Spike may be the most splendid technique in volleyball. It may seem difficult, but anyone can try it after some practices. Compared to other recreational sports, the concept of lesson is not established, so generally we join a club to learn volleyball. There are original members in the club, and it is difficult for coaches to coach the new members individually for the spike swing, so the swing, which is the key point in the spike, is often missed out. If you refer to this video for the training, you will be able to learn spike more easily and accurately. Spike is a technique to hit the ball with a palm above the net to score a point. Height and power are important for spike. There are blockers on the other side of the net, so it is important to make the hitting point higher and to build up the power so that opponent's receiver cannot beat the ball. Hitting point depends on the height and jumping ability of the player, and the posture plays and s l a r y role. Muscle strength plays a pivotal role in the spike, and the posture to utilize this muscle strength plays a supporting role. Thus, the swing posture affects the hitting point and the power. We need to swing our arms to hit the ball from the higher point. In addition to this, we need power. I would like to help you master the spike swing through step-by-step -step training. For the ready position, place the left foot forward for the right-handed players. Then, stand straight. Step 1 is to raise both arms up. Reason for raising the left arm together is because it helps to straighten the upper body. Upper body needs to be straightened and opened up in order to make the hitting point higher and to increase the power. You should not put your head down when you raise both arms up. Dropping your head bends your back, consequently lowers your hitting point. Step 2 is bending the swing arm behind your head. If you can feel the tension in the pectoralis major, tricep, s p i k e y and deltoid, you have done it correctly. Also, it is easier to make the swing posture to make the hitting point higher by going through this posture first. Step 3 is to open up your elbow, which is the commonly known swing posture. After following the step 2, if you opened up your arm to the side, you will be able to feel muscle contraction in the anterior and posterior parts of the shoulder. Especially the latissimus dorsi is one of the main muscles that increase the power of the spike, so it is important to have this muscle fully contracted. Note to place your hand behind your head. Step 4 is putting down the left arm. Note on the left shoulder when putting down your left arm. If you follow this video for the training, your left shoulder shall place in front of the right shoulder. Align the left shoulder with the right shoulder as you put down your left arm. Left elbow swing backwards and affects the movement of the left shoulder. Lastly, if you put down your right hand, the swing posture is completed. Create a big circle as you put down your right hand. Go through point 1, 2, 3, 4 as you put down your right hand. Note that your hand should come at last. And to straighten your elbow as your right hand go through the point 1. Then you have the perfect swing posture. I'll come back with more spike related educational videos. Bye bye!